Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my new video. Today I will be creating a Halloween decoration. <laughs> it's a project I wanted to do every year, just never had enough time. And this year I said I'm doing it. I know it's a last minute, but I had so much fun creating it. I just love it. So this is more like a process video than a tutorial video because I created a lot of embellishments for the uh, all that you know little decor for the um, um, for my project. But this is not uh, included in the video. It would be just very very long, and I was creating it over two days, so I was um, in and out of the studio, but. The I just want to show you how the whole thing came um, together and I hope you will enjoy that. So I started with a simple base of a gift box. I don't remember what was in it exactly. I think some, um, what was it, some little uh, cosmetics. It was a gift last from last year, so I'm using only the bottom uh, part of that box, and then I want to make the uh, walls slightly thicker, so I'm adding a cardboard, and then I'm also adding. I will add a shelf inside the box. That will be the first step. Apart the box, I'm also using a wooden spool. This is uh, left over from the ribbon. And uh, this way, I uh, later on, I will join those pieces together and I will have like a, you could say, a, maybe a cabinet. <laughs> I don't know. I called it a morph realm and I wanted to create uh, something dark because I always have a very light, uh, shabby chic project. So this definitely is something different for me. But I so enjoyed creating it, really, it was just so much fun. After finishing the box base, I'm using cheesecloth and the texture paste from Finabar, and I'm just going to apply the apply both uh, the texture and the cheesecloth, uh, like cover the inside and out of the box. This will create a really nice uh, texture. You could paint the box black before applying it because I will be doing it later. If you really want your project to be very very dark. Mm, it, it's dark, it's more difficult to paint it once um, the cheesecloth is stick uh, stuck to the project because it's not flat everywhere but um, yeah I decided to paint it later and also uh, I w wouldn't mind you know lighter areas because anyway I will be from the dark I will be making it uh, lighter anyway I made a lot of embellishments using resin and finabar molds, all those bones, skulls, different elements which will be shown later. I will not be showing the process of painting um, each one, but uh, for the bones I used uh, like texture paint and also then the liquid acrylic. For the others I used black gesso and waxes.
like I said, I will cover the whole project with black gesso and dark brown paint and then I will apply white gesso and uh, different color waxes to add some color to it and also to make it lighter. Now it's the fun part, using those little embellishments I created uh, to decorate my project. I will also show you how I did the top part, as a very similar way I did the that, um, you know, ribbon reel. <laughs> and then I will glue both parts together.
So here it is, uh, the finished project. I hope you like it because I absolutely love it. Like I said, I enjoyed making it so much. And with those finabar molds, when I could have all those elements, you know, it was much easier. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoy that and I hope to inspire you. And uh, well, join me soon. I will have a video about using resin with the molds. If you haven't used it before, then watch that video definitely because it's my first experience with the resin and I hope it will help you to decide if you want to use it as well or not. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching me today. Have a lovely creative day. Bye bye.